Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am once again here in Wimborne and this is part three of my hood creation series of Wimborne. In previous episodes, we laid down a bunch of different trees. We also laid down some cliff sides here and we threw in the waterfall and that was in the previous episode. And we also messed with this little like walkway thing. I did mention in the previous episode, I'm just going to continue with this. I did mention in the previous episode that I wanted to see if I could find something similar to this, like this gray walkway set, but that was red cobblestone because if this is the first time you're watching this series, if this is the first video, I'm building this world called Wimborne and it is inspired by a town that you would find in New England in the States. So I don't know if you've ever been to the States, but think of like Salem, Massachusetts, for example, or Burlington, Vermont. Places like that um, with a little splash of like Maine and I wanted a town like that because I've never found a Sims 2 decorated hood or completed hood that had that kind of vibe, that small town New England vibe to it. And so that is what I'm creating here with Wimborne. So yeah, I mentioned in the previous video, I think it was part two that I wanted to find red cobblestone walkways because I felt like in New England, um, at least like in Salem and or some parts of Salem and in Burlington, you have a lot of cobble footpaths that are made of red cobblestone. So if anyone plays The Sims 4, it's similar to the Realm of Magic Glimmer Brook floor tiles that we got in that game or terrain paint I don't remember I haven't played this since for in a long time so I don't remember <laughs> which one it was but very similar to that but in red you know and I feel like in New England you'd more than likely I mean obviously we do have gray cobblestone but you would definitely find a lot of red cobblestone and that was the sort of vibe I wanted for this world or for this hood and I couldn't find that. I did do quite a bit of research earlier before I started this video and I couldn't find anything, any sort of walkway that was red cobblestone, unfortunately. And I did actually find Cricket's walkway set that was on Ma The Sims. And I noticed in the comments of that set, because if you didn't see part two of the series, I used Cricket's walkway set, which I, much prefer to do this kind of thing you know so the walkway set is similar to this I can see if I can find it but it is a different stone it looks different oh my god The landlord lives upstairs and they are super duper loud. And right now the house owner is cleaning. I don't know what they're doing. They're vacuuming or something. And if you can hear that in the background, I highly apologize for that. Um, I'm going to try and just talk over it. Um, but yeah, so the walkway set is, this is part of the walkway set. And I really love the look of this because it matches the sidewalk color. I mean, not exactly, obviously, but a lot closer than this does. The only thing with this one is that it floats. So if I were to take this, okay, yeah, so this is what I mean. So like it's floating above the ground. So do you see it there? There's the gray walking set and this is the other one. It's floating above the ground yeah so I wanted I really wanted to use that one instead of this but unfortunately it floats above ground and it doesn't look good and it clips all other 
it cuts off all other hood deco that I use in the in the hood so I didn't want to use that but yeah so I actually saw in the comments under in mod the sims under the simple simple walkways set by Cricut someone else had actually commented that they float Cricut never replied to them I don't know if it's because they're just not on mod the sims anymore more than likely the case but I sent in an ask to Cricut and asked them if I or if they knew any way that I could prevent that from happening like on my end if there was anything I could do to prevent that from happening because I really want to use the simple walkway set I really love it and I would prefer it for this hood but I don't know if they're going to be able to have that fixed so I don't want to get my hopes up. So I'm just going to continue using this Vervain Wart Canal Set. And what I'm doing is I'm basically creating walkways. I'm only going to do this where the community buildings are, but only in the first, only in this square and this square. Mm, I'm back and forth about this one. I don't know if I'm going to do this one, but definitely these two, because these are the main maybe even this back here actually because these are like the high streets you know I'm only going to be using these on the high streets because I in New England and in other places in the world obviously but again this is a New England town so that's what I'm going with you have these main roads where um, a lot of the a lot of the community areas, like the community lots and stuff, have walkways in between the various buildings. And that's where people walk, you know what I mean? It's very common in New England, and obviously again in other places in the world, but have like your town hall, you have a grocery store, a library, a cinema, a cafe, a restaurant, an art gallery, a pub, you know, whatever. And then you have all these walkways connecting all of these buildings. Okay, so I know I want it like this. And I think I'm going to... Hold on one second. Oh my God, that's so loud. Can you hear that? I'm so sorry. Wow. They are so loud. Like, it's ridiculous. Like... I literally wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning to the sound of them taking showers. 3 o'clock in the morning, taking a freaking shower, and their bathroom is right above our bedroom. And I have an issue with my sleep where if I wake up, I have a hard time falling asleep, you know? So once I'm asleep, I like to stay asleep. But they make that very difficult. <laughs> So yeah, it's just really annoying living here with them. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to leave it like this actually for now because these are going to be townhomes and this is going to be a bookstore and a bakery. And the reason why I'm not adding these sidewalks to this area here is because these are really tiny tiny lots and there's not a lot of room to build in so i'm just going to keep them empty because they're going to have a fence around anyway i'm not going to add those sidewalks in between these lots so i would like to add some here but i'm back and forth about adding some residential homes here i don't know if i want to i feel like it'll just look really displaced but i'm just going to leave this completely open for now until i figure out what i want to do with that so, so far, this is what we have with the walkways. In terms of like flora and all that kind of thing, I don't want to add trees or anything until I know, until I start building the lots. I have a really weird way of making hoods. I have to go in and actually build all of the buildings and see where the walls are going to be and everything. Because something I really, really hate is when... I throw down all of this beautiful neighborhood decoration, all these beautiful trees and everything. And then I go into lot mode. I'm building this building and then tree bush clips into the roof. You know what I mean? I really hate when that happens. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Um, and 
yeah, so I think I want to add some farming. I did want to add, this is all like hill. This is just going uphill like that. I do have, because this is going to be a diner with the farmer's market. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these. Yeah, this is all hill. Maybe we can flatten this. Let's go into... Modify neighborhood terrain on. And let's make this. I wish I could do it like right next to the. Can I just get rid of this? What size is this? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Sorry, just for now. Just now. Um, and we can just flatten that lot there as well anyway. Or flatten this area. Okay, so... I want to flatten this here. What is flatten on my keyboard again? I think it's this button. Yeah. I have a Scandinavian keyboard, so I have different keys that I have to use in order to flatten lots and raise terrain and stuff. So I feel like this, maybe not so much here, but this here, I would like to smooth. Oh man, did it clip? Oh no. Oh my god, that looks really funky. Yeah, let's smooth this out. Because <laughs> that looks way too funky. This looks so weird. Bear with me, my friends, because... Okay, so all of this is flat, except for this part here. Okay, so I've been smoothing the terrain. It takes quite a while because... It's just, I mean, it's slow, you know? So, yeah, I've been smoothing out the terrain. I smoothed out the road. I don't know if you can see it where the cars are, like, passing by. But, yeah, it's kind of the best I can do. I mean, I can continue smoothing it out. And I may do that a little bit later. But I feel like um, it's not as bad as it was, you know? But, you know, you do have steep hills. I mean, look at... Bergen, look at San Francisco, you know, so I'm like, it's not that bad, <laughs> I say as I cringe. Um, okay, so we can just throw in some along this edge here. I was thinking of throwing in some cliffs here, and maybe that could like help the weird... Um, help this freaking you know what I mean this random like dip here we can just cover that up I love these cliffs and I was thinking of adding them to along the shoreline because I was looking at a picture of Maine um, the sea and I noticed that there were rocks so I was thinking of doing, I'll show you what I mean. Um, something like this, like just throwing in some rock ledges or like rock, you know what I mean? I felt like that would be a nice touch to the beachy areas and even throwing some rocks down in the water would be cool. But yeah, I was planning on doing that, maybe like a little bit along the coast, not all the way, but um, I feel like that looks nice. So I'll do that a little bit later. But anyway, so this is the road in. Another thing I can do is add a tunnel. Do we have tunnels is the question. <laughs> Let's see. I could add a tunnel right on the edge so that it doesn't look that bad. I don't know where it is, but I know I want to use... If this is the entrance to the town, I want to put this somewhere, but I'm definitely going to add farm. So I don't know where exactly I'm going to put that, but I'll just leave it there. Oh yeah, okay. So I got a def... This is a good one for this town. Let's throw this in here. Um, because it is a coastal town, so... But yeah, oh, this is another good one. But I got a default replacement of these flags because both of those are good. We'll use them both. Why not? 
Um, <laughs> because I don't like these. These are ugly as hell. So I was like, no girl. Um, it does replace a lot of different stuff that I didn't want it to though. But I guess that's fine. Oh wait, though, we have like, this is default replaced. That is as well. Oof. This we definitely want somewhere on the water. Thinking like throw the lighthouse there. Or we can just put the, see, why doesn't this work? I want it to be, okay, so what we can do is leave it there and then adorn it with some rocks. I have no freaking clue what happened to this tunnel. I would have sworn there was a tunnel in this game. I know that I want to use this along these roads here. You know, like this, super cute. I definitely want to use that. Where the hell are the tunnels? <laughs> I definitely want to add these boats to the water and I definitely want to add like a like the docks you know what I mean are they here somewhere yeah like this um what are these called a boat slip I don't even know what those are called they don't go on really I would definitely love to work with this embankment set, um, but I have no idea how to make this happen. Um, I think it'll look really cute. It matches the grass enough. I probably won't use it though because <laughs> it's a little too funky looking. This is super cute, and I would like to use it. I just have no clue how to make it work, because, like, how do you even make this work? Like, see, it clips, you know? You have to find, like, the right... You have to find, like, the right height for it or something this should connect, you know, but it doesn't. <laughs> Something else that I have is, um, Cricut's light pole or like, um, this thing here. And I freaking love these so much. I love adding them to my hoods. doesn't matter what hood I'm playing, whether I've created it or not. Um, they are so pretty and especially because at night they light up um, and they look beautiful lit up at night and it's so just like charming and pretty and cozy and I just love it. So nighttime, this is what it looks like. Isn't that so charming? I love them. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I wanted to add farms here. Oh, wait, let me add that lot really quick. Hold on. I need to download... Um... Oh, why doesn't that work now? What do you mean? Why can't I add that? I need to download a mod that lets me place deco anywhere, even on lots. And I need to download... Oh, wait, the freaking flagpoles. Yeah, hence why I need to download that mod. This is not working, my dude, for some reason. Okay, well, I'm going to get it to work somehow, some way or another. I don't know. But this is going to be where the diner and farmer's market is. So I'm thinking that there could be a dirt road... that goes up yeah there could be a dirt road here and this is going to lead up to where the farms are so i'm just going to leave that there for reference and then i'm going to go ahead 
and add in the farms. I definitely want there to be shrubbery so that it doesn't look so just like farm randomly placed there. I want it to be bordered with shrubbery. Cattails, we can throw these along the um, lake or the river that we have. Yeah, so I want this to be bordered by these also leave, it's all of Cricket's greenery that leaves those weird shadows that I don't like. Which is really unfortunate because I love their bushes and stuff. Yeah, so I'm thinking um, it's going to border the... greenery of the farm. I don't think we're going to be putting any lots there anytime soon or anytime at all. So we'll just make this whole area the farm area. We do need an entrance for this dirt patch or this dirt road. Hello. <laughs> Let's continue doing the dirt road then if that's the case. And we definitely want to leave a gap of dirt in between so that the tractor can go in and, you know what I mean? I think of all this stuff, like when I'm making my hoods, like, I think of like every single thing, you know, like what, I mean, I'm sure there are things that I miss, of course, I'm not perfect, but I think of like, and maybe it's because I live in a farm town, there are farms everywhere where I live, so... But I think of like, where are the tractors gonna go? Like, where are they gonna drive? I thought I had a tractor. Feverfew came with a tractor, didn't it? I can never find anything. It's so annoying not, be, not being able to find stuff. This is a broken down one. This could be one that they're like fixing up maybe. Um, but your girl needs a tractor, my dude. Like, where can I find that? <laughs> Um, let's go back to, so now let's add some sunflowers, um, and sunflowers we can add here, and there's a little bit of green here that I don't like, let's see if we could move this in a bit, yeah, that's a little better, okay. So sunflowers, and then let's do some corn. Because as an indigenous person, I love corn. It's part of my ancestral, um, part of my ancestral foods, you know? Random tractor just like tucked away in this. <laughs> let's add some straw. Now, I don't know anything about, I mean, I know very, very basics of, you know, growing your own foods and stuff. And I know that there are certain plants that you shouldn't add with other plants, like they should be kept separate sort of thing. But I don't care enough about that to, I mean, I'm not looking for hyper realism here, you know we'll be fine so <laughs> um okay so canola is another thing let's add some canola here and then let's add some more sunflowers because they're the prettiest here and this is where a farm will end i think because quite a lot but this is the main farm here in Wimborne and so yeah because it's the main farm they're growing all the produce you know what I mean so I'm thinking that this dirt road is gonna go up this way And it's going to lead to a little farmhouse where the person that owns this farm lives. Um, 
And I'm thinking that can be the mayor of Wimborne. So I do have a little history with Wimborne going on. I would like Wimborne to... Okay, so I came up with this idea for Wimborne where... Um, It belonged, and still belongs to the land, I mean, belongs to this indigenous tribe. Um, and I don't have a name for it because I don't want to, like, make up an indigenous tribe name. Like, it just doesn't feel right to me as an indigenous person. Um, and the mayor, I already have her name worked out. Her name is Anani. Um, and she is part of this tribe and she is the mayor of Wimborne. There's a whole, whole history with Wimborne that I will get into at some point. Um, I'm still working out the kinks of it. And yeah, so I will explain further about that in the future at some point. So, um, but yeah, so Anani is actually a word from my tribe, actually, that I'm enrolled in, my peoples, if you will. And so she has this Ottawakan name, and I don't want to make up some Ottawakan tribe because I myself am part of a real Ottawakan tribe, and um, this is not Ottawakan terrain whatso freaking ever. Okay, so, and I was thinking, because Ottawa tribes are way down in, like, the Caribbean and the border, northern border of South America and those places, and so it just wouldn't make sense to have this New England, you know what I mean, Ottawa tribe in New England. It just doesn't, it's, it's not the right geographical place for this tribe, and so I just borrowed her name from my culture and... Yeah, I just decided to leave that as is. She is the mayor of the town, and the tribe still has sovereignty over the land of Wimborne. The name Wimborne is actually Anglo-Celtic, you know? It's got origins in both Irish and Welsh words, and there's a whole history of, like, Druids coming to Wimborne, um, and meeting this tribe and all that kind of thing. So yeah, I still have to work out the details of that. So I'm thinking of adding some sort of farmhouse. See, this looks like it belongs in like Ireland or something. It doesn't really belong in this hood. I wish I had just like a standard farmhouse that I could use. Yeah, so the deco houses I had are actually on my old computer. So, right, right. I can't use that. I can't throw that in yet. But something I can throw in is the barn. And I know I have the barn here somewhere. I saw it. I freaking saw it. This is the barn. So this we can throw here. And then we can throw the tractor right outside of it. We can throw some more. Okay, so this we can throw. Here like that. And then this, let me move this. Let me throw in a car. I'm thinking a pickup truck would make more sense. Okay, blue pickup. Here we go. And then this can be, the house can go here. Let's just throw this here. So the house can go here, and that is going to be the house where the farmer lives. And I was thinking of having this be where the mayor lives. I mean, I could still do that, sort of. Like, if I throw in a lot here, and then I just make, like, a dirt road going up it. Yeah, I definitely need that mod. Because I feel like I can make it work if, kind of, <laughs> I can kind of make it work. Because I wanted 
the mayor, Anani, to be married to the farmer. I think that would be really cute, actually. If she was married to the farmer. So then we can throw these guys going in to the house, leading towards the back. And then the front is facing this here, which would look really unusual, I feel like. But Or we could just have it like that and then have the house face this way, but there's a dirt road going out towards the main road. Maybe we'll do that. But anyway, okay, so that's the farm area. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's throw this little welcome thing. I want to say here because the house is going to be there. So here we have, so you go in through here and then this would lead you to the side of the mayor and farmer's house. This is gonna be a diner with a farmer's market. Oh my God, this is exciting. Look at this. It's getting there. Oh, one thing I wanted to do before I stopped recording was I wanted to see if I could fix this lighthouse. So if I just throw in some random cliff sides. Oh, another thing I need to download is rock replacements for my hood. Those big rocks that we have in here. Oh, this is lovely. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, what a good idea. What a good idea. I'm so glad I found that freaking picture. Yeah, this is beautiful. The only thing is, I don't know how people are going to get to these boats now. We could just throw, like, um, what if we find, like, one of, like, a rock that sort of, just, like, I don't know, that's too, like, kind of just fades into, like, this one, kind of. Yeah, and then we can throw, um... the slips here and some boats. Can we just see what these rocks look like from the beach? And then we're done with this video. Oh, that looks awesome. Look at that. That looks awesome. The only thing I'm noticing is that this sand, I have a texture. Let me go ahead and fix that. I kept that installed. It's by Cricut and it came with their Rural Charm Feverfew thing. Look at the way the rocks look inside the water. That is so realistic. See, you just have to experiment, my friends. Just experiment with your hoods and try anything and everything that comes to mind, even though it sounds wacky, and see what happens. You know, that's all you can do. And if it works, then great. If it doesn't, then undo it. <laughs> um, so this is also, beach terrain and it goes up like that um and this is the main Wimborne beach so I don't mind having the sand go all the way up like that um yeah because you see how it like crosses into this this is the beach oh I love the way this looks and look at how the rocks go in and how it reflects. Look how good the water looks too. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play this world. Oh my gosh. That's not going to happen for another several weeks. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay. So that is pretty much it for part three, I think it is, of building Wimborn. This one was definitely a little more entertaining than the previous two because we are getting into the hood decos. I know it looks really haphazard and all over the place, but do not fret. That will be changing, of course. But yeah, that is it for this. Oh, I love it. I'm like so proud of what I've done so far. Oh gosh, the satisfaction. <laughs> so that's it for part three. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you all in the next one.